Well, surprise, surprise, it seems like Kamala Harris couldn't care less about the border, even as vicious cartel violence spills into America. The vice president out in Arizona pushing green energy while ignoring the border crisis. Do you have any plans to visit the border in Arizona? I've visited the border. I will not on this trip, but I, I have, and I will again. On the border, that it is one of our highest priorities to continue to work on making sure that the border is secure. But one California sheriff is calling out the mounting dangers of an open border after a cartel-style massacre in his community left six people dead, including a mother and her 10-month-old child. I can tell you cartels are here. Uh, they are here for multiple reasons. Uh, selling drugs is lucrative. There's a lot of money to be made. The influence of these Mexican cartels is now in dozens of cities across the U.S., and Republican congressmen are turning to military force to fight them on their home turf. These Mexican drug cartels have been around for a while, but the difference now is fentanyl. Uh, this is not a drug problem. This is not a war on drug problem. This is a poisoning problem. And they are killing about 80,000 Americans a year. And the Mexican government does very little to thwart this. Judge, so, you know, the sheriff says the cartels are here. That's been true for a while. The thing that I worry about is this Mexican cartel-style corruption bleeding into communities in the U.S. And once that happens, it's virtually impossible to get rid of it. Well, I think that given the homicide that we saw, the massacres, I should say, of those six people in Goshen, California, uh, where they shot a 17-year-old mother and a 10-month-old son in the head, uh, and a grandmother in bed, and people were running away, shooting them in a ditch. I mean, it's clear that the, the violence of the cartels is here. Um, I can't imagine, given the Mexican cartel areas of influence that we just had up on the screen, that um, the corruption and the money, uh, uh, you, you know, the corruption, the financial corruption isn't already here. Look, the Biden administration is singularly responsible for this. They have, and that's why it's so hysterical that Kamala Harris says the border is one of our highest priorities. Uh, Kamala, tell me how. <laughs> what have you done? You haven't even told us what the root cause is, as if we didn't already know what the root cause right. was. You know, you got freebies. Show up. You know, bring your family. Everything's good. Um, and and the, the, barb, the, the medieval kinds of... Uh, violence that will uh, that go along with this cartel violence, going along with the financial corruption, will be the end of this country. Not just the poisoning of people, a uh, hundred thousand a year, it'll double, triple in the next few years. But uh, Joe Biden's good with it. He's, yeah. he's not doing anything. And they've done the, actually done things to make it worse by suing states like Arizona, Jesse, and telling them to take down their own makeshift border walls. But I find it interesting when you have this legislation introduced in Congress to go after the Mexican cartels that the Mexican government gets quite uncomfortable. Why is that? Because the Mexican government is the Mexican cartel. It's the same thing. And you made a good point about the violence spilling over and the corruption spilling over. The violence and the threats work with Mexican officials, but the money and the bribes work with American officials. And if you just shower U.S. officials in small towns and midtowns with cash, that's an easy way to get the fentanyl in faster. I want to talk about Kamala for a second. You know when you fly across the country on a business trip and your cousin has, happens to live in the exact same city you're going? And you know what's the right thing to do? To call your cousin and say, I'm in town. Let's go have dinner. And you still don't do it. <laughs> and the next night, you're out of there on the flight. And you're like, I should have done that, but I didn't do it. That's Kamala. She flies all the way across the country. All the way. They say they care about jet fuel. You could just kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> do the groundbreaking. Do the border trip. And you're back by Friday. How can you not do that? I was guilty of it one time. And I'm still distraught over it. I had a shoot at Sturgis, the bike rally in South Dakota. Been there? It was an hour away from Rushmore. And I had the entire afternoon to myself. And didn't you go? And you didn't go? Well, got a, that was a shame. mistake. I got a massage. <laughs> I got a massage. <laughs> and it was a terrible massage. It should have been. It was a terrible <laughs> massage. And I'll, I'll, it's probably a once-in-a-lifetime thing. Mount Rushmore, I'm an hour away. Never going to be in South Dakota again. Yeah. Maybe I will. But I regret it. And Mount Rushmore is her border. You should. You should. Um, Jessica, you know, there's a lot of talk about comprehensive immigration reform, lots of different issues on illegal immigration. But when it comes to cartel violence, do you think Democrats could get on board with this legislation that targets them with cyber military from the U.S. side? I would think so. I, I don't know anyone who likes cartels. So, and they're, you know, they don't 
when they medieval style chop up someone's head or whatever, they're not asking, you know, who did you vote for in 2020 or something like that, right? These are bipartisan issues. Um, I think that any comprehensive plan to address that, and we have to admit that President Biden was just at the border and he did lay out a plan where he has pushed the Mexican president to make sure that people can still stay there, where if you were coming from Central American countries that you have to show proof that you didn't apply for amnesty in other countries. This isn't like it's being completely neglected by the administration. And I'm not saying that they've solved all of these problems, but he was there three weeks ago. She was there in 2021. I get the cousin thing. You should have gone to Rushmore for sure, but you can take <laughs> Jesse Jr. But it's really unfair to act as if there has been complete neglect of this issue. Is that fair? I mean... Biden no. went, and it was like a North Korean-style propaganda No, it tour, was an, it they was a, it out. Was a, it was just a good day there. It was Got a lucky. dysfunctional <laughs> marriage <laughs> selfie on Instagram when he went there. They cleaned the place up. They took a picture and smiled. They left, <laughs> and it went back to everyone going to their separate bedrooms. <laughs> and just, you know, Kilmeade runs summer tours to Mount Rushmore, so maybe hit him up. He's got a Fox Nation special. But <laughs> um, I think the, the, the thing with Kamala is... When they asked her that, she pointed the wrong way, number one. Did you see her nervous reaction? Yeah, tilted it. Yeah, yeah. That's the point, point over there. No, that's a mountain. That's Flagstaff. Thanks, though. Thanks for trying. Like, they just completely out of touch. She had her aunt, well, uh, uh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm planning on going, but not now. See, we got to go. It's like Bugs Bunny. They had to make a left at Albuquerque, you know, because she really has got to be somewhere else. She was there to do the whatever little fancy pat on the back it was, and they do little shovels and high five and tell each other how they did a good job, and then... Lo and behold, the media is starting to turn and ask her a question like that that I'm sure was not cleared. And she freaked out and did what she... I don't know what it is with this administration and no one taking speech classes. Jesse, I took speech in college. I think everyone here at one time or another took speech. Kamala and President Biden don't like making speeches or saying clear things. She literally was like, oh, it's over there. Yeah. That's not an answer. No. Yeah. And, you know, in Arizona, you don't have to go to the exact border to see the problem. Oh. Go to I-8 and I-10. Yeah. Or just to Phoenix. And why is fentanyl not considered an act of war? If they were pouring yeah. Agent Orange in our water, yeah. we'd be doing something yeah. about Good it. Good point. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.